There we go. Welcome to RealLibertyMedia.com, RLMRadio.xyz, for another in the series of radio writing of American dissonance. Uh, today is defiance. We're on the edge of anarchy, or so we'll assume, and take a look. I've got the curator right here of Real Liberty Media with us along for this ponder gander. It is a grim nervine ponder gander today of anarchy. But in contrast, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at that this edge of anarchy, well, in society and where we are in life, and uh, contrast one to the other, one that protects and one that prays. We'll call him a warrior, the hero, or the mercenary. And I toyed with this name, and I really uh, find it hard to come up with something to describe it a little bit more than the merc, the one that uh, does for profit, <clears throat> versus the one for good and right, and he. For power and greed. There's to give honor and glory. Or there's to, to take fame and praise. Sacrifice of oneself for others. Or tribute for self from others. The best of everything. Yeah, making the best of it. Or taking the best of everything. Everyone comes for something. To restore or to destroy. To contribute. Or consume. Yes, I'm recording. I had to double check myself. We all have a choice. The line is clear on this edge of anarchy. How do you live with yourself? With a few good deeds? For them of themselves? Or as a smokescreen? At what cost? Is it worth the cost? The question of violence, it's a given. But whether it be used for good or bad... It is an unfortunate necessity in this fallen world, but what it's for what it's worth in service is it worthy? It's your conscience that keeps you from becoming a monster. How much will you go against your principles? At what cost? Welcome, Grimner. So we've got a long ways to go in uh, this idea of what anarchy is. Okay. I, I want to start out with the what sounds to be the the same word, but it's a little bit different. Moose girl, I hope you're here. Uh, an archist. Let me try that one again. An archist. An archist. An archist. Yeah. How, howdy, Tex. Who's Tex? I don't know. Well, I'm an anarchist. Yeah, kind of like this hillbilly <laughs> beating on a banger. Not so good. An archist. Now, have you built a boat? Noah did. Then there's this idea of anarchist. Well, that, some people think it's it's to uh, destroy. And others see it as as order. Hi, Moose Girl. She she spelt it right. At least the mm -hmm. third one. What do, what do you think about anarchy, Grimner? Well, um... First off, anarchy as a definition, of course, uh, most people know it means no rulers, no rulers. It does not mean no rules. Uh, however, uh, you hear a lot of people talking about anarchy as uh, you, you, they show on the, the, the clap news there. News. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, you know, people, uh, you know, burning stuff down and breaking things and, uh, you know, rioting in the streets. That's not anarchy. That's not even close to anarchy. Uh, you'll hear people say, oh, we're going to descend into anarchy. No, 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 no. You will ascend into anarchy once you eliminate the rulers. Uh, anarchy is, is a very peaceful uh, philosophy, uh, and, and basically what it means is voluntary cooperation without coercion, w w without force, uh, amongst the parties involved. Now, of course, there's uh, a lot of different types of anarchy, people that call themselves anarchists that I personally don't consider to be anarchists. Um, uh, for Like, uh, I, I consider myself, because uh, of all the various variation, various variations out there, of people that consider themselves anarchists, I, I had to classify... Uh, specify that I am an anarcho-capitalist, uh, or ANCAP for short. Um, 
which is uh, follows along the, the lines of Murray Rothbard. Uh, if, you, if you're familiar with Murray Rothbard, ever read any of his writings? Yeah, you know, just listen to his speeches. Um, uh, you, you'll understand. It's 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 basically agorism, right? You, you know what agorism? Yes, it's uh, coming together in voluntary cooperation. Right. Yeah. That, that's it. Yeah. So uh, anarchy is basically uh, uh, an anarcho capitalism is basically agorism. Uh, it is, it's a very peaceful thing, and, and we follow, uh, I say we, but I use that term loosely, um, <laughs> what's called the non-aggression principle, uh, which, which means you, you do not uh, aggress against another person, um, uh, other, I mean, I, I say other than, but uh, it's not really aggression at that point, but uh, you don't aggress another person. On, against another person, unless it's in self-defense, which of course that's not aggression at that point. Um, it's self-defense. So I will, I'll have yeah. some discussion on that and an example in my life. But right now, as I set this doobie down, I, I just don't think I aggressed against anybody at all. Um, now let me give you a situation that, uh, uh, I, and then I'm going to have to back up the Moose Girl saying that I'm not an anarchist because I say there's a, a place for government and I'll back up off that word right there government my control okay Good. forget forget to break down the definition okay so as a situation with uh, some uh, well one former friend I guess I'd call him and, and as still a friend uh, because of the way that he uh, presents himself into this life and then blames others. I, I've chosen to uh, give him a message, and that is a little deposit right there in his driveway every time I pass by. Now, is that aggression? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And you know what? But it's like it's a ticket. I'm giving him a warning ticket that says, I got my eye on you. You, you screw her over. This is a short story. I really got to just be short on it, but it means that I am, I'm watching. Hey, I got a thing says I disconnected. Am I still here? We still. You're still here okay. with me, but you're out of the chat. Okay, it's kicking back in. Looks like maybe. Okay. Just let, just let it ride. There it going. Is. Yeah, I bumped. Right. All right. All right. So that is that's an aggression, but uh, as I say. Uh, what what is it used for? Is it used to protect, or is a, a predatory manner? Donna was telling me about at the uh, a rainbow gatherings when they've got somebody that's a a possible predator, they stick somebody to him with glue, and never give him an opportunity to uh, commit a crime. So, am I being bad for wrong, or good and right in what I'm doing? Well, I probably need more information on which what the whole situation is about there, but yeah, him, him, I, it's who I went to Tulsa with a couple of times. His last trip was just um, his behavior was completely unacceptable. He blamed his old lady for everything he did and didn't do, everything she did and didn't do. Then tried to uh, assign blame to me, and and uh, because I pointed it out to him very clear the person that he was being, so at the end of the ride and get back home it's like you know what piss off and uh this is not acceptable and i'm not going to tolerate it from you so she uh, as all abused people accept her situation and uh even probably deserve thinks she deserves it uh so forth but i on the other hand i'm not going to let this guy forget that he's a fucking bastard that's what he is thank you miss girl i'm not going to leave him alone yeah, I I told him I said call the cops, come over and and, uh, and talk to me. Uh, I will got something for you, which will be me taking ass whipping in the long run because he's a big old feller. But that doesn't matter. The point is that you stand for right, and to let him think that he can get away with that 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 she has uh, no one listening to. You know, uh, she posted she's surrounded by people that fucking hate her. I guess I should have. Uh, 
pre-warned that this will be a, a language. Oh, I was looking for the uh, proper terminology. Language, language, <laughs> I can't say it because it's not a word. Lang language, cautionary advice, <laughs> something like that. I couldn't bring it together. Uh, yeah, it is my business, Lucy. Yeah, it is. Because if it's not, whose business is it? What when uh, when she's being physically beaten uh, and she has no place to go? Whose business is it? If uh, if somebody was being abused, or molested, and you know about it, then whose business is it? Well, I made it my business to let her know that she has somewhere to go, somebody to turn to, that she's not alone, that not everybody hates her, and. And the same token, he knows that I know, and I'm watching. So, yeah, you can tell her she needs to get out all... I'm reading from chat here for you listening downstream. Tell her that uh, she needs to get out. Well, then what? He's already screwed her around, put everything, took all her inheritance, and bought the property, and all the possessions that they own uh, in his name. Yeah, that that was the one point right there that keyed it for me when when he laughed and, and told her, ha ha, yeah, they was talking about this. Yeah, I got it all in my name. Uh huh. Yeah, do you stand by and watch somebody commit crimes, or do you do you stop it? I I appointed myself sheriff in Riverside. I was the only one there, so hey, uh, one vote. <laughs> it's all it took. <laughs> Uh, where where do you stand on this, Grimner? Well, if if uh, if I knew of that kind of thing going on, um, where a person um, defenseless or uh, less able to defend themselves against the uh, the the person that is uh, aggressing against them, abusing them, um, uh, then then I would. Uh, <clears throat> probably uh, attempt to assist in the situation uh, to, to the degree that I was capable of. Um, I mean, uh, if talking to this guy does no good, which apparently uh, it doesn't, no. um, and if uh, uh, telling this woman that, hey, you got to get out of the situation, I, I know it sucks, um, you've had this inheritance and this guy basically stole it all from you, uh, then... then it, it may or may not be too late for that situation. Uh, the, there are, um, uh, you know, there is the, the, always the uh, the lawsuit method, um, but again, she'd have to try and prove uh, what, what had happened because did she give her? Uh, she must have allowed him to do that to take yeah. uh, her her inheritance and use it uh, in, in the way that he did. Um, and and then you know he could kick back and laugh about all that stuff, uh, which is you know horrible. But um, if if she did allow for all that, uh, she screwed. And, yeah, right. Yeah, it's it kind of it's on her. So why not um, at this point cut your losses and get the hell out? Uh, That's on her. You know she she knows her yeah, options yeah, in this exactly. life. All so I'm doing, I mean, I'm not trying to intervene. In hey, anything over there, they'll do what they want. And I learned a long time ago that you know there's nothing you can do to to change anybody. They that's for them. So my only point is is yes, I kind of am being the police in the the uh, sense that uh, I, I'm really there to uh, not in the way that the police operate so much to cause a crime, you know, but to uh, to to say if something happens I'm going to be here right it's like when I appointed myself sheriff in Riverside I only had to take two a actions and I let them both off with a warning one of them was this kid breaking stuff there at the ghost town and I told him I said we can't hang you for it and the jail's in ruins so we're going to have to let you go and the other guy came out there and was dumping stuff I, said, I made him go pick it up and, and haul it somewhere else not on my watch you know why? Because right, I'm an so anarchist. You're, you're, you're a self-proclaimed protector of X, whatever X was, wherever you are. Yeah. Uh, at that point, when you were in Riverside, it was was the little town there, the ghost town. Mm -hmm. uh, and where you are now, it's your neighbor. Uh, yeah. And I cleaned up, you know, as I was also the uh, 
the uh, custodian, so I did a lot of cleaning and uh, while I was there, documenting, um, went to to Mes uh, Mesquite to the museum, and I found out all more about it. And uh, I actually shared information with the library they didn't know on Clyde the Camel from uh, Arrowhead, it's a Moapa exit in in Nevada between Las Vegas and uh, Mesquite, which uh, Bunkerville's right below Mesquite and then Riverside just on down below uh, Bunkerville but that's just the smaller communities through there uh, I lived out there in Moapa as, as a kid and then later on as an older uh, teen adult a uh, lot of history there and so I went like this uh, somebody that just happened to be there or came there because of the situation and have connection to it uh, and I felt that be also my responsibility to go there and, and be a witness so in the same sense that uh, I'm delivering tickets over here as, as a policeman to, to this old boy down the road, uh, in the same sense, uh, being a witness, right? Yeah, well, you know, um, there, there's a, I think you're pretty near the line there on this one. Cause, sure I am. Uh, I mean, you're, you're doing something um, which, uh, against a bad person, uh, but but still, is 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 the actions you're taking the proper actions? Um, it's a little it, small it, one. I, see, it's just it's just an aluminum can right there in his driveway. That's that's uh, that's my ticket. That's what it is right there. Okay, but you're but you are uh, causing him to you know take actions to remedy the things that you've done. Uh, yeah, well, you know. Go out and pick up the can. If you get um, pulled over by a cop and he gives you a ticket, well, you can throw it on the ground or or take it with you and not pay it, pay it no mind or whatever. But get pulled over again and get another ticket. So I'm just giving a try by ticket. <laughs> and and he's out in the front yard. This I mean I've been very clear that it's for me. He's out there and I say, hey, I got you another one. Whew. <laughs> I, I find it amusing as well, though. But uh, I I call it a necessity to uh, keep him to knowing that you're being watched. Got my eye on you. So now I'm the the neighborhood watch committee all in one. The mini Vinnies in one. <laughs> I it's funny. Yeah. Man. It's like when I yeah. gave the kid a warning for breaking stuff at the ghost town. That was funny for me to say, hey, we don't have a, uh, uh, we can't hang you for it. The jail's broke down, so, <laughs> hey, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, um, you're doing what you're doing. I, I, I have no idea what that has to do with anarchy in any way. Um, because it is that definition of anarchy. That's that split, that line where we're on, that line, where's it at? I have it written down some here. Somewhere that that line, there's there's a line, and it's very clear, I think, between the uh, protector and the the prayer, <laughs> the predator, the mercenary, versus the hero. Uh, as a lot of people think that anarchy is is uh, discord, and as you was talking about when we first started, it's uh, oh, Flesh is, says I'm on the radio. Thank you, Flesh. Um, where where do we stand? We got to define that because it's not a breakdown of society; it's an order of society. But as they, yeah, let me back up, Moose Girl. You said I'm not an anarchist. I, I say there's a necessity in government. Well, uh, ideally there would be less and less of it, but we can't go from here to there uh, without making that journey. How do we get there? We have to certainly uh, hold accountable those people that have taken these uh, positions that they ho hold in these seats of decision and power and uh, there's a lot of people trying uh, in this american dissonance it's a, it's a war of conscience and a lot of people are going down in it and i've covered it and talked about a lot of these people and people that i've uh, come to know firsthand uh, from from bunkerville and people that were in in the uh, Malheur refuge uh, standoff up there there's uh, there's right ways and wrong ways of going about this life and when you're you're when you're going to stand in the gap there's a, there's definitely a price to pay 
Who got shot? What? They're in chat. Oh, anti. They're talking about anti. What happened to him? This, that stupid vaccine crap. Oh, got the shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, he wasn't shot. He didn't shoot him with a gun. He shot him with a, a different kind of poison. Did he get a, uh, a Krispy Kreme? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting. I'm not taking no shot without a Krispy Kreme. Hey, there's Chloe. Let me say hi. Ah, hi Chloe. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I bumped off a little bit. I guess that one was from a little bit ago. So here we are over. I saw Anti say that he did uh, uh, take the shot. All right. I'm just directing. Yeah. Well, here, here, here's 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 the situation. Uh, you believe you believe in in a, in a place for some government, whatever limited amount, right? Um, so that makes you a minarchist. A minarchist. Don't say it. It's not. You I'm are. Not. That's it, man. You're, you're a minarchist. <laughs> I'm a realist. We have. It is what it well, is. I, ideally, I'd like to think that okay. we don't need uh, all the government we got. We don't. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's a terrible well, shot. Well, well, well here, here's the deal about government. They say, if you live within this area that we claim the the monopoly over violence in, then we're allowed to do whatever we want to you. You, at that point, say, well, you well, you may have that right because you claimed it, although uh, no, nobody actually agreed with you that you have that. But, uh, well, some people. But anyway, um but but that is the deal with a government with a, if you were like an, an anarchist community you 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 don't have to i mean they don't they don't force upon you uh you know certain specific little bizarre rules like a government does uh it it's a voluntary thing and and let's say i decided all right i don't like this community that i'm living in so i'm going to move to the next one down the road cuz they got um, you know, different uh, regulations. <laughs> I hate that word, but yeah. uh, different uh, set of uh, rules that they live by over there. So I like that one. But here, you you can't just move down the road. You can't and and do that because uh, the U.S. government claims uh, monopoly <laughs> over violence within all of the fifty states plus the territories and uh, other places. So even if you do move down the road, you're still under what they believe is their jurisdiction. Uh, and, and there's no opting out of it. You can't say, well, I, I don't like this, so I'm, I'm not going to obey your stuff. Uh, as long as, you know, you aren't causing harm to another person or a person's property, uh, then, then you'll be all right. But but that's not the way it goes I'm under the, the these elected people that you were talking about that you need to hold accountable uh they they need to be eliminated just as well as all of their rules need to be eliminated sure there's some good rules in this i mean it we don't exist without rules there are obvious rules scientific rules and and uh i think rules that are absolute and right and wrong now let's say well let, let's ask about one of your your communities there you're talking about. Um, who decides what those rules or regulations are? Uh, who enforces them uh, if they're violated? Well, that, that again, it goes back to, to being one of the community ideas, the community things that they choose is uh, that that this, you know, okay, we're going to say that these, these folks here are, are, are going to, uh, you know, keep a watch. You know, and 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 then if if somebody comes and reports, hey, uh, some stuff got stolen from me. I know who did it, and they could go and investigate and see whether or not that person actually did it. And if they did, uh, depending on, of course, the the particular community, uh, they could tell that person that you need to pay full restitution uh, back to the person that you harmed, uh, whatever that may be. First, you know. You know, if you stole property from him, give back his property, and then that person uh, is allowed to decide further uh, whether or not uh, there's uh, additional actions that need to be taken. And if that person that that was doing the aggressing uh, did not agree to to uh, those those said actions that were 
uh, ordained against him, uh, then 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 he would have to leave the community. Uh, and and if he didn't voluntarily agree, he would have to be banished, and he would live out. See, in in, in that. There's where you have real law. You have common law, natural law. Uh, uh, so, so at that point, um, and, and it always comes back to this. People always want to go directly to the worst part of humanity in order to define, well, how would an anarchist community deal with this? Okay, well, that's how you would deal with it. Uh, so in your, in your community, you have whatever uh, common law that is there that you've all agreed to uh, within that. Uh, and, so, and, and so if people have, sign on a, a line saying I agree uh, or however, a verbal however they handshake. Or, who? Uh, whatever. Voice vote, hand vote. Uh, everybody, you know, so gathered there. There is voting in the anarchy then. Well, there, there, I mean, you got to decide on. I mean, like you said, and I've said, uh, anarchy does not mean no rules. It just means no rulers. There's no one person. Uh, dictating or no one group of people making uh, somebody do something that's not yeah, yeah, it's, that's it's, not it's causing not a a, yeah a, a, a harm a crime to person or property right. but then there's so many that there's a lot of fuzziness in the line there too in between well there's always there's always going to be yeah so you, you're talking about a minarchy then kind of in a sense uh, no, no, no. Um, Where people can well, are free to, you know, fair trade and um, yeah, and but vote in, in, for... in, a, in a minarchy, you're still dealing with uh, uh, governmental type agencies that, uh, you know, set edicts and rules and 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 push push different uh, things upon you. The hell is this? Somebody call it. <clears throat> Hi, <laughs> did you know your car warranty is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, Hello. So, <laughs> Ma? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not answering. <laughs> oh, a- anyway. <laughs> the, but but the the basic concepts, the basic ideas uh, of an anarchy, of an anarcho-capitalist anarchy society, um, are, are so much much better. And now, now, of course, there's like I said earlier, there's uh, various groups of other people that consider themselves to be like anarcho-socialists or anarcho-communists or anarcho-syndicalists, uh, various other things that I, I look at some of the stuff they talk about and things. I've been into their groups on Reddit or whatever and looked at stuff, and they're, they're, they're not anarchists at all, um, at least uh, not in my view, not in the way I look at stuff. So... Um, <laughs> so, uh, so, but, 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 you know, they, they, uh, they, they pretend to be, and, and of course, like, uh, you know, those black block people that are always burning down buildings and rioting in the streets and crap like that. Uh, that's what the what the media, uh, the government calls anarchists, which yeah, th- those are a bunch of violent assholes, and uh, <laughs> they they are not anarchists. Um, uh, by any stretch in in my way of uh, view of uh, looking at things. Uh, so of course there are. You you saw the uh, January sixth uh, uh, storming of the Capitol where people walked. Uh, yeah, they were a bunch of statists. Those were all statists. <laughs> yeah, walking through the you know between the the velvet ropes and taking selfies and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, they they were there to fight for one <clears throat> one. You know we like. We like, uh, you know, this set of rules rather than the set of rules you're pushing on us. Either way, yes. we want rules. We want, you know, cops and military and uh, all, all these other uh, government things. And, you know, we want to, you know, uh, have uh, this free stuff sent to us or uh, we, we don't want you to. Anyway, there, those were, there was no anarchist there at, at the uh, January 6th thing. Um, no, no, no. I I was amongst uh, those early on that warned against uh, attending that. It knew it was a psyops being set up, and still, nonetheless, there's uh, several people in the the poot crowd, the uh, oh, whatever else you want to call them. they on uh, that kind of associate into this uh, this right wing ideology, but uh, a lot of that gets lost. <clears throat> they they uh, 
they're really spending a lot of effort to find every single person that entered the, the uh, Capitol building that day. But you don't see that. You know, they say um, this is it's an idea. It's not a movement about all this stuff. You know, looking at what happened in Portland and uh, all the the death and, and uh, destruction there. You know, those were uh, peace, mostly peacefully peaceful protests, right? Uh, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, I read this out in Bunkerville in 2014. It was uh, on a, a placard. It says, uh, two most important days of your life, the day you were born and the day you, you find out why. It says, the duty of a patriot is to protect his country from the government. The people are masters above Congress and courts, not to overthrow the Constitution, to, to, but to overthrow the men who pervert it. In the long history of the world, very few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its hour of danger. This is that moment, and you are that generation. I will not bend, bow, break, compromise, comply, go quietly, give up, roll over, shut up, sit down, submit, or surrender. So be it. We are that generation. Be the change. That that makes it sound like I'm a right wing patriot type and not an anarchist or a, a minarchist or what the Well what the if case. if you are out there defending the Constitution the Constitution which allowed for the creation of the government uh, that was uh, spread across everybody regardless of whether or not anybody ever even actually read this this document uh, now that that they lived within that geographic area that th this government claims to have uh, a monopoly of violence on then 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 that would make you uh, a patriot uh, whether uh, minarchist or not um, certainly I mean compared to uh, it's the the roots of the the government of the United States compared to where it is now um, uh, if if you went back to the uh, initial size and scope of the, the government here, uh, then certainly that would make you uh, a much more minarchical type person, uh, be, because they had very you know f few uh, rules and regulations at that point. A lot of people assume that the Constitution is some contract that they never signed uh, with government, but that's not the case. The uh, the contract is uh, with those that that come into the office of uh, in positions of government, and it's to hold them accountable. Of course, you know we can look at the, so many of the changes and how it's been hijacked and stuff. And so the idea then is to hold accountable uh, these people in government that they uh, at least abide by that uh, point of their their contract in the Constitution and, and making no laws to infringe upon the rights of an, another, which they do all the time. Uh, look at, uh, of course, we, we knew it was coming with Biden, you know, more gun control. And any look at history, you can see what happens to opponents when they become uh, disarmed, chop their arms off, you know, or bare arms, uh, sleeveless shirts, I guess. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Okay, okay, so so you, you say you're an anarchist, right? Yeah, in its purest sense. So if, if I want to have a, a nuclear missile, should I be able to have one? Yeah. Okay. Sherman tank parked in the front yard? Whatever, yeah, yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, peace okay, through good. superior firepower. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just saying, uh, you, you know, they 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 want to, uh, you know, uh, every 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 gun law that's ever been enacted uh, since the uh, Constitution went into effect in what 1789 um, uh, should should automatically be null and void, right? Well, yeah, there's a uh, they need to just back up, scrap it all. I mean, when it takes 20,000 pages to set the pr price of potatoes in Idaho, uh, there's something wrong. You see all these bills they put through, 
Who can read a 50,000 pages? Come on. Oh, we've, we've got to pass it to know what's in it. Sign away. Now, or, or you got that other that other thing that says that uh, ignorance of the law is no excuse. But then again, there's millions of laws, and there's no possible way. Everybody knows every one of them. Right. Uh, right. Yeah, everybody and, commits a felony every day, I guess, is uh, that I've heard. Three. Three, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. Three's what better than one. Yeah. I think I think my national anthem would be then uh, I'm about to kick somebody's ass. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Peace through superior ass kicking. Works for me. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, how about uh peace through cooperation? How yes, I like that much better. Yeah. <laughs> and then if they don't cooperate, then we'll go and get some ass kicking done. <laughs> well, uh, they 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 would see you as the one not cooperating because you know you're you're saying well we think it should be this way and that way, and they say no, I don't think so. So so you're the one not cooperating by telling them the way you it should be the way you think it should be. I think uh, you see the contrast. Thank you. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah contrasting the occupation i mean that's what we're really doing here because we're occupied i mean you know okay we we can't all right we've already decided tell, tell, go ahead tell, tell me about this occupation well okay perfect uh goes with what i just get ready to say we've already demonstrated that we can't set up a separate community to live. Um, we hit, we hinted on it at least that uh, uh, because the aggression of government is going to come against you. If you try to set up your peaceful little community like Montana Freeman, if I begging the question, they're peaceful. I don't know much about them, and some say they wasn't peaceful. But anyways, um, or them uh, uh, Texas, the Republic of Texas. Let's take that for example. Or what about Waco? Uh, what about uh, Ruby Ridge, him and his family out there? And, you know, you just can't allow people to uh, to live free because then what will happen? That gun, you'll have to uh, deal with it. i got to refresh over here. I got kicked out altogether. Okay. No, we, we can't live free. The government won't allow it. Will no, we? no. Uh, you know, it, it, realistically in, in this world, uh, in this particular country that we're in, um, it, it's to, you have to be ideologically uh, an anarchist um, because you, you can't really be one. Uh, not not in totality. You can you know extract yourself as far as possible, as much as possible, uh, from interactions with the, the the government and the rules and regulations and so-called laws. Uh, but but you can't fully do that uh, if you want to actually live. I, you know, you got to be a little pragmatic about these kind of things. And <laughs> uh, uh, I forget who it was the other day there in the chat uh, saying that uh, oh just uh, just don't uh, you know renew your driver's license or your or your tags on your car. Uh, and, and my response was immediately fuck that uh, because and I think as Moose Girl and I talked about last night. Uh, I I I don't need that kind of harassment that that would come down upon my head, should I decide uh, to to you know go around and put it in their face that yeah uh, your your rules are are not working for me, um, uh, because they'll say well I mean, they may not be well in that case we'll just kidnap you and throw you into a metal cage somewhere exactly, uh, and and I I don't need that nobody needs that so. Um, you got you got you got to you know uh like i said do your best to extract yourself from from their their uh society from their situations uh, but but there's certain certain things you have to you still have to do if you want to live in the world you know that's right that's where we are we're existing in in it and the only thing that uh, we can hope to do is certainly uh, free our mind hello my food i'm glad you made it yes yeah, free your mind yes <laughs> Get out of that status mind trap. Uh. <laughs> so that's the only place we can really begin, right? 
yeah, I, I mean, you know, it, it's a, it's a it's a terrific thing um, to to at least get your your mind in the, in the place uh, where you understand uh, about about the tyrannical ways that uh, this government, this land of the free, is a, is a tyranny, um, well, just as every other government country around the world. Um, and I, I don't really think there's any, any place left, right? That there's no uh, no government claiming control over whatever area. Even they even claim uh, governance over the high seas. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, that's the only place you can be free is in your mind, and that makes you an anarchist. Is when your mind is free. It it certainly helps. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah, and, and you know, uh, back in the day when I when I was like part of the Libertarian Party, because um, I thought, oh, Libertarian Party, that sounds good, Liberty Party, uh, yeah, yeah, I like that. Um, and I, I found out they're they're basically in the same place, uh, at least they were prior to going full on mainstream nonsense, which they are now, and, and they're they're terrible. Uh, and and they're just trying to be you know in power, but 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 basically the Libertarian Party was nothing more than a debating society, um, where, where they they would have ideas of this thing they want to do or that thing, uh, but nothing would ever actually really get done, which is why you know, why the, the the LP they languished in obscurity for so long, and uh, now that they decided oh well, we're gonna we're gonna pick some people that that agree with a lot of the the mainstream political nonsense, uh, they got a little more recognition, but they, they lost their ethics. They lost their, their morals. And, did, uh, uh, did you have, uh, the, like the Dave's cheaper store in San Diego when you lived back there? The cheaper store. What now? They're called the cheaper stores. The one was the Dave's up Sacramento, Dave's cheaper. Um, they promoted the libertarian idea. I forget, uh, one guy, he ran for president at one time and I think something out in California. Uh, oh, God, I can't remember who who the guy is, but they used to put stuff on their sacks, uh, libertarian type of uh, quotes and stuff at the store. Yeah, I'd never heard of them. No, eh, I'll have to look them up. Yeah. Let me see. I, I'm gonna do a check real quick. Yeah. So I, you know. Anyway, I, like I said, you know, it's uh, it it, it comes down to. Um, what you want to think and believe, and 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 the actions you want to do to follow that. Um, now you said but, something uh, about belief yesterday. There's more than one type of belief. Belief. Yeah. Truth. No, you said truth. There's there's more than one truth. Yeah, every you know everybody has their own truth. Everybody has their own truth, and and. There is, there's, there's, you know, but that's, uh, uh, that's the kind of thing, you know, like you have these people that, that believe in global warming and they believe that, that it's the truth, uh, that it's all caused by man, man made global warming. Uh, of course, uh, once it was pointed out that the data, uh, that brought about this big old hockey stick graph was all faked. Um, they they didn't care. They just obscured that and, and moved on from calling it global warming to call it climate change. Um, so there's people that know, they absolutely know that that climate change, global warming, whatever you want to call it, um, is fact. They believe it. It's absolutely truth to them. It's, they, it's not even that they believe it. They know it to be true, even though it's not. Well, it started out as global cooling before it was warming, right? And of course, you know, uh, the climate uh, cycles in, through various modes, and that's just the way it goes, and that's the way it's always been. And if the climate was not changing, was, was static, uh, the world would die. <laughs> Do you think uh, pollution of industry is, it con contributes any to... Uh, climate change no but it does c contribute to uh, nastiness locally uh, within one particular area uh, if, if they're polluting a river um, 
they're they're destroying a lot of crap that goes on downstream. Changing that's, climate. That's, no, acid, no. Acid rain comes uh, down and kills a force. That's a climate, it, it, right? Isn't well, it's, it? it's, the, it's the weather within a specific area. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's certainly not uh, a global thing. Um, it, it is definitely regional to wherever that damage is, is going on. Now, what about all the stuff that goes into the ozone? Um, now, le, le, let's, let me back up. Let's go into this uh, idea of... Uh, Manipulating the the climate, uh, as far as geoengineering, it seems to me that there is an obvious effort in in now being talked about of and being proposed of uh, 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 solar dimming uh, and putting this uh, particulates in the air. Uh, that's how clouds are formed. You know, particulates uh, come together there. The condensation forms sure. about it, making clouds and and other weather that falls out of it and, and all that. So that's uh, that's climate change there in itself. They, they've got it going on, and then they talk about, oh, that we've got a problem, and it's climate change, but we've already been changing the climate, and now we've got to do something about it, or say they do so that they can uh, and, uh, have their justifications. So what are the ramifications? Why did they start in the first place? Not to just, like... What dump coal ash in in the air so they can get away from having to pay to dump it? No, there's the, you can see that there's going to be they create a, a a situation and then profit from it. Um, you know what, uh, whatever particulates that are coming out of the Athens airplanes, uh, you know that uh, I know in my lifetime are not consistent w with what I saw when I was younger. Uh, you never saw an X in the sky ever. You never saw a, a uh, condensation trail go from horizon to horizon. You didn't see planes at um, well below their their uh, cruising heights of uh, 30 to 40,000 feet. Now they claim somewhere around 28,000 feet. Uh, there's uh, used to be a parameter when wind condensation could form at uh, uh, 40 below and 40,000 feet. Uh, now you can have uh, condensation trails Persistent. I'm sorry if I want to be correct in the vernacular. Persistent condensation trails at ground level, even. Um, so, what do you got? Uh, got to decipher it. Well, uh, the idea that man can actually change the climate of the entire planet uh, and and do it on a consistent, ongoing basis. Uh, you, 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 you call them persistent uh, contrails, which, of course, maybe they are, maybe they're not. Uh, but, but they're not persistent uh, beyond a very temporary uh, amount of time. Uh, it, it, it's arrogance. It's arrogance. People, they, uh, <laughs> humans, humans believe they have all this power to do all these various things. But, but uh, the nature... Uh, of 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 the the planet and the climate and all of that is is much much more powerful than humans could ever uh, be in order to to make those kind of changes. Uh, say we're going to dim the sun. Uh, you, you might spray some crap up there into the sky. Uh, even if you could cover the entire planet with whatever crap you want to do that for, uh, with uh, it's it's not going to stay there. I mean, you have to continually do that, right, Every well, all I, the time. And I think they kind of are. Have, you don't have the capability. No, no, I, I mean, there's, there's, the planet's large. Yeah, uh, can, can and, and it used to seem so much larger in traveling in this country, not, not so much the world for myself, but many people have. I've been able to travel the world uh, via the Internet, which is a pretty amazing thing. Um, it is a much smaller planet, and it is persistent. Uh, and this, I, I get uh, in a sidebar, climate change is fact. It's been happening since the beginning of the planet. Fossils, rocks, minerals, and so, so right. forth climate possess change. the evidence. The only remaining question is not if humans contribute, it's how much. And that question is still, still largely unanswered. Uh, I'm not sure what that, oh, 5 billion? Oh, when you, when you consider, I guess, uh, 5 billion cars. I don't know what that part is, sorry. 
with uh, the cars on the road, among other things, it, it is a factor. Yeah, when you consider the the planes in the air, the the uh, everything, all the pollutants out of the uh, stacks coming up, uh, they're certainly contributing and causing change. I, I agree 100% with that. Uh, how much? Yeah, that that is the unanswered question. But we we do see an obvious attempt at manipulation uh, of the environment. Uh, by the, the likes of Gates and those others, right? Sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think the... Uh, uh, whatever uh, humans and, and their uh, machines and factories and all that produce uh, w would be so negligible as to make zero change. I, I I really disagree with that point. I do. Uh, I think we're making a right. lot of change uh, on on uh, just as a byproduct and on purpose, because I I do believe there's a purposeful manipulation of the climate with the uh, uh, chemtrails. A purposeful attempt at, at manipulation, mm -hmm. uh, rather than actual uh, manipulation. I, I it, it's it's just so vast. Uh, the, the, we we don't have the power to do that. Well, wh whatever the cause, I do know that uh, from when I was a kid and before, and having asked my uncle about, you know, they used to hang their meat in the fall. Uh, now we don't have a consistent winter. You know, it, it comes above freezing. Used to, it get winter and it stay winter until a uh, till spring. Uh, can't hang meat like you used to. You remember old smokehouse and this and that and hanging the hams and. What not? Hanging the beef. No, I don't remember that. <laughs> but I believe you. Yeah. I, when just, when I, I was a kid yeah. and I lived at my grandma and grandpa's, they still lived the old old style. My grandpa was born in 1908. Uh, there on the farm, he'd uh, plow the garden with the mule, uh, put in five acres of, uh, of field corn for, for to feed the animals. He got uh, hogs and chickens and uh, cows and milk cow and you know you raise about everything you eat and go to go to the store in 1960 something or twenty dollars and about uh, come back with the back of your truck full of groceries of the uh, the staples you know what you would uh, buy extra you go out to the smokehouse for your meats and down in the cellar for um, that with last year's harvest that's been canned and put away and it's a different world we live in today and uh, the environment has has changed to even preclude uh, uh, living in in the way that people used to, um, and definitely government's going to stop you where you some places you can't even collect your rainwater, you know. Right. Yeah. Oh no. The yeah. The you know, um, uh, whatever you would call it, uh, the environment for how people are allowed to do things or will do things has changed but that doesn't mean the, uh, the, the anything about the climate changing is unnatural it's it's totally natural um, again it's cyclic you know uh, we've, we've been through uh, various warming periods and cooling periods uh, go, going back to the beginning of the planet um, some of them would be uh, make it so that nothing could live under them. Yeah, uh, I, I don't think we have a very good, accurate uh, rendering of, of the the record of the world. I think a lot of stuff is suppressed and covered up uh, in, in our natural history and the interpretation of the fossil record, which, uh, well, that's that's a whole different subject in many ways. Yeah. Hey, that was so a, I, Go ahead. What? Oh, I would say so. Anyway, I I think we've you know wandered off from the main topic here, but yeah, we did. <laughs> That's all right. This is probably going to play. I, I'm gonna. I probably shouldn't open. Yeah, that was no good. It didn't. That was a good addition. That uh, the playlist there before uh, I come to that. But anyways, Ghoul Town, Drink with the Living Dead. So that that fit along with. Uh, I interrupted the uh, dressed. Uh oh, this one might try to play. No, it didn't. Good. Dressed in black, the Dead Country radio show. So it kind of does tie in this climate change we got into. 
uh, in anarchy. Those, right. As anarchists, we're, we're trying to stand up for what's right and do what's right, I think. We might have a little well, different I, uh, interpretation. Uh, uh, of that I idea. think regardless of your political bent, um, standing up for what's right and doing what's right is, is should be um, should be your, your 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 aim your goal right um, I, I don't care if you're a crazy ass socialist or a, a fascist um, right wing nutball um, uh, <laughs> you still probably want to do what's right at least within your own uh, way of thinking right yeah so when we say we you know, we might uh, agree or not we mean that we're we're part of a system um that's inclusive of of this world and um the system of government the system of climate we're we're kind of trapped right so the best thing we can do is try to make sense of it and uh address where it's used against us or take shelter you know you got to have enough sense to come in out of the rain means you you're going to have to pay for your driver's license pay for your property uh, again and again to the government and taxes and um, on and on and on but the only place that we can truly be the, the anarchist that we are is in our mind and be free there for your mind one ringy dingy what what a time hold on just a second let me give it to you Grimner. Yeah, all right. See, so he when the, when his phone rings, he answers it. <laughs> when my phone rings, I kind of look at it like, eh, I, I don't need to talk to anybody right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so yeah, I, you know, if it's important to leave a message, and if uh, I don't have an answer me. machine, and I don't have caller ID. And uh, so if you call me, I answer or not. Yeah. I told them to call me back. She just took a call to let me know my glasses is ready. Well, that was cool. She goes, oh, I oh, just wanted hey. to let you know. So, yeah. I was going to say, All like, right. hey, piss off. But oh. <laughs> <laughs> we interrupt the following program. The current program. Wait. I forgot. <laughs> I'm easily distracted. <laughs> And amused. Yeah, that's very easily. <laughs> yeah, we're coming to the end, right? Uh, we're, we're running around in a big old circle, I think. You know, I've got to wind up behind. Oh, <clears throat> so this is the the least preparation I've done on the the uh, radio log blog uh, from since I started doing radio here. It's going to be short and sweet because uh, normally you got to read the rest. Well. This is a radio writing, and uh, it's uh, <laughs> sounds great, but it's less filling. It's over here spinning. Anyways, I'll I'll finish that up publishing uh, of this edition of American Dissonance uh, Defiance on the Edge of Anarchy. And yeah, it's a loading. And remember, as I said at the top there, when 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 you go into anarchy you will not be descending into anarchy you will be ascending into anarchy uh, a far superior way of dealing with uh, other people is voluntarily without coercion or force you will ascend into anarchy of course the, the governments never want you to realize that to think that way to understand that you could live perfectly fine much better much more prosperously without them, because if they people realized that, they would discard the government. They would no longer have that belief in authority, which is the root of all evil. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, let yourself ascend into anarchy and and discard uh, all all of the words coming out of those talking heads, uh, whether it be politicians or uh, supposed media. Uh, which is just uh, you know uh, mockingbirds of the of the uh, of the governments of the world and the, of course so that's, that's how that works. Good, <laughs> thank you. Well, I think uh, I think this episode puts me about halfway through the fifteen uh, week series. 
Now, let's see. Come on back over here tomorrow at uh, 5 p.m. Eastern for, Eastern for the Redneck Dentist. Sundays at noon, all times Eastern. We, uh, we're playing the blues over here, Grimner is, and, and some fast-fingered trivia in the chat room. That's at noon, 3 o'clock, behind the woodshed with Hal Anthony. At uh, Mondays uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern, Grimner and Circle are back with uh, another radio show. What number is that? Number five? No, that's you and Moosey will be five next week, uh, Thursday, I believe, right? On Free Your Mind. Yeah. You and Circle right. on Mondays. And uh, thanks for joining me today. Next uh, next Friday again at noon Central, 1 p.m. Eastern for American Dissonance. Appreciate y'all listening. And I'm going to go hit the push a button. I, I'm going to tell you, if I, ever go to the, if I ever go to the circus and there's a clown named Buttons, I'm pushing him to <laughs> see you next week. Yeah. Uh.